Our reporter colleague, Simpia Makanya, who's standing by to speak to the former mayor on the way forward after her election. So, Simpia, uh, this has been something that has raised concerns in some quarters that somebody who has to accept a nomination in absentia because of the step aside policy has now won the mayoral candidacy. Uh, tell us what has been the reaction. And of course, you're going to speak to her about what she thinks. Indeed, uh, 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 Tepiso, good evening to you as well as to the viewers at home. Certainly, she is not the only leader, you know, who is facing, you know, charges that has been elected in this, uh, you know, uh, 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 position. We would recall that in Emma Lachene region, the former chairperson there, I mean, the current chairperson who's the former mayor of Newcastle, that's Dr. Ntutugo Mashaba, was also elected in absentia because uh, he had stepped aside from his responsibilities. But but I'm not going to waste time, uh, uh, Tepiso, because we do have the newly elected uh, chairperson of the ANC in Etegwini, Umamuzandile Kumete. Thank you very much for your time, Mamuzandile Kumete. Perhaps your reaction to your election as the new chairperson of this region? Mguni, I'm happy and also emotional. If I think, where do I come from? It's been four years now. I've been struggling. I've been in difficulties. But today, truth has come out. Thank you so much to the branches of the African National Congress. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to say. But of course, uh, you've got an important task ahead of you, uh, Mamko Mede, of uniting the ANC in this biggest region of the party. And when one looks at the results which have, which have just been announced, especially of the top five officials, your slate basically having a clean sweep. How are you going to ensure that you unite the ANC in this, uh, in this region? That is my task as the chairperson of Eteguine region, as Umama Uzandile Kumete. Because uh, I don't think you must ask that. We have seen it. You know that I've been a mayor before. Now there's Mayor Kaunda. By the time Mayor Kaunda was supposed to be elected, there were some challenges. I stood up because ANC comes first. And the people of Etewini for me comes first. I made sure that I influence whatever it was supposed to influence, assisting my leadership to make sure that everything's in order within Etewin. So my biggest role and my biggest task was to make sure that even those that did not elect me, we must be seen working together. What is good, we've been working with uh, Comrade Tabani and we are not having any challenges. I'm confident that we're going to be taking this ETU forward together. I'm meaning Comrade Tabani because I've experienced that, although I'm in step aside, but underground, I've been making sure that the NC does not die within Etiwin. Speaking of you having been, you know, uh, uh, on this step aside for quite some time now because of the corruption charges that you are facing, the question that perhaps other people would ask is, how are you going to execute these responsibilities while, of course, uh, you are on step aside? You know how NC works. Uh, you have been in the field uh, for many years, Mgoni. We work as the collective within the movement. No one can claim the victory alone. So as the chairperson of the region, I'm having my deputy chairperson, Comrade Tembo, Tembo and I'm having my uh, secretary, Comrade Musa Ngigi. I'm having my deputy secretary, Comrade uh, Ngosentli Matlala. I'm having uh, my treasurer, who is uh, Zo. Shabalala. So that collective, whilst I'm on step aside, I'm going to be advising as I always do, because it's not like uh, I, I'm on step aside and uh, I'm being shattered. I can't talk to the comrades. I can't do. I'm the member of parliament. I'm working for the community. I'm doing everything for the community. The only thing that's happened, my leadership said, I'm because I've been charged, although I'm still waiting for the real charges. They said, let me just pause for a second so that the society can see that if the law is taking its course as the leader, I must be seen complying. But other than that, I'm quite confident that it's not going to be long. I'm going to be off the hook and then I'm going to be 
hitting uh, uh, the road and the community of Etewini with my collective were going to be working very hard. Remember, now they are electing additional members. It's not about Mamzandil Mamzan only. Mine, because I've been within the movement, is to make sure that this African National Congress within Etewini, things are coming back on track. Another question, Mam um, is that which speaks to the issue of step aside. Uh, what is your view on this, uh, you know, decision by the ANC to say that those who have been, you know, criminally charged must step aside from their positions? It's a very, very painful exercise. I don't wish anyone to be on step aside, especially because our our constitution and also. Our, 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 our constitution of the African National Congress and our country constitution state clearly that um, a person is, um, is, uh, is not guilty. Is a person is innocent until he or she is found uh, uh, guilty. You cannot be penalized and be seen guilty before the court of law uh, uh, find you guilty. I don't think it's a very good exercise, but because it's affecting me direct, I don't want to talk about it. The branches of the NC in December will talk about it, and they've already started talking about it because it's really, really uh, 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 killing our movement. Mam um, thank you very much for your time. I know you've got other, you know, commitments since you've been, you know, just uh, been informed about your election as the new chairperson of this region. Thank you so much for coming here at home. And thank you so much because I was not expecting anyone to come once I'm here at home. Yeah, bon. Thank you very much. Well, that's the newly elected chairperson of uh, the ANC in the uh, Etheguini region, the ANC's biggest region in the country, Mamzandile Kumete, saying that uh, she will be hitting the ground running after, of course, resolving the issue of her step aside. Of course, we know that she's currently on step aside, having been charged with uh, those uh, corruption charges. But at the moment, she's been jubilant, receiving congratulatory messages from some of the provincial leaders of the ANC uh, since her election. But of course we know that uh, the elective conference is still continuing in Etheguini, Tep and ICC where additional members are now going to be elected. It's back to you enjoy an episode.